Hello guys, Dan here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this short video I will paint uh, this Azrael model for Haki Islam Army. Uh, I have to say I got this model from uh, my very good friend, uh, which works in one of the rare uh, game stores here in Dubai. So thumbs up for him and thank him very much for giving this model to me. Uh, I will keep this uh, paint job very simple so it will be accessible for every beginner level of painting. So without further ado, let's start and paint this model. Uh, I start priming the model with the VAG flash. Uh, I use the airbrush here because it is much faster for me. Uh, if you don't have an uh, airbrush, you can always use the, the can spray paint or uh, just apply this base paint with your paintbrush. Uh, just uh, try to have a good and even coat uh, all around, uh, but try not to make it too thick so you don't uh, lose the details. Uh, so you here we have to go like in a couple of uh, very thin layers. I will do this model uh, like a separated uh, the body from the hand uh, because I want to have uh, all the details nicely on all unaccessible areas. So this is how the model looks uh, when it's primed. After prime color is dried very well, I will use a Bieltan uh, green shade from the Games Workshop. If you don't have this one, any green, sh dark green shade will do the job. And just wash the, the whole model with it. Uh, you don't need to, wa uh, to wash the gun because uh, it will remain uh, black and we will repaint it later. But everything else, just be generous and then wash it uh, with this wash. After wash is applied, give it a good like 20 minutes or half an hour to dry properly before uh, proceeding to a uh, next stage. In the next step, I will paint uh, all the rest of the model uh, accessories black. So I will paint his gun and I will paint all these little pipings and uh, all the under armor uh, that he have. Uh, I will use uh, Black Templar Contrast Black and uh, I will apply this color in uh, two thick coats uh, because if you apply the first coat the green that is under will show a little so after it's completely dried go again and apply the second thick coat and then you will have a perfectly black surface to work from here. This is how my model looks at this stage, so you can pause here and uh, copy the same areas that I painted black and do them completely same. Uh, for his chest guard here, I used the Contrast Blood Angels Red, uh, which will turn into a little brownish color uh, when I applied it here. So I will use this color as my shade for this chest guard. Uh, if you don't have this uh, contrast color, you need to buy it just for this. Uh, you can use any darkish, uh, reddish brown or use uh, uh, any other uh, dark red uh, just for this little detail. So it is not really mandatory, but it will make uh, a little easier to paint the red later. We will start now working on our green armor and start highlighting it. So we will use uh, Warbo's green color and uh, I will put uh, this paint on my uh, wet palette and add a few drops of water to it so it flows much better. And then I will start covering the armor. Uh, I will cover like uh, 80 to 90 percent of the previous colors of the armor but uh, I will leave all the recesses and all the shades intact and as well uh, all like the joints when the two armors are coming together I will leave a little dark line in between. 
and as well uh, this color is little transparent so apply this in uh, two very thin coats uh, just be careful not to go into your recesses and I need to tell you this is very time consuming process so make yourself a coffee or tea and have patience and just go around and paint uh, everything properly because this is the main part of our model actually Uh, so the most important highlight will be done with the scarcity green so we will do the edge highlight on every single sharp edge on this model so go around and draw a little thin line everywhere so this will really make this model pop up on the table because he's 95% green and this highlight will make it like look really good uh, so without skipping any edge or any corner you need to highlight everything I think it took me a couple of hours to be honest uh, I will just show you here on this uh, leg piece uh, how I did it uh, so just patient here and do it properly And this is the final look uh, of the armor uh, it will pop even more uh, after we put the contrast uh, on his under armor panels so our second most important highlight uh, will be done with the administratum gray uh, so we will go and do the similar stuff as we did uh, with the green before so on his under armor and all these little pipings that he have uh, just draw uh, one nice uh, highlight on top of it so just draw a very thin line and uh, uh, you will have to do this like uh, maybe in a two thin coats because this gray is really transparent as well uh, highlight all his knuckles and uh, he have this part of the gun as well so everything actually that is black you will go around and do the small highlight uh, on his gun you will do the same so highlight every single sharp edge uh, just use the side of your brush and make like a 45 to 90 degree angle against the surface of the gun and just uh, draw little lines. all the rest of the red details uh, I will use uh, Evil Sun Scarlet and I will just uh, start painting his chest guard uh, I will do this uh, with the two very thin coats uh, but I will leave all the recesses uh, with the shade that I did previously with that uh, red contrast paint uh, so just go carefully around and make uh, two uh, very thin coats uh, so you get uh, even coverage 
and uh, as well paint all these uh, symbols that he have on his shoulder pads and he have a little tri triangles of his like uh, uh, parts of the arms as well. Uh, at the end you will highlight this red with the Fire Dragon Bright uh, so you will do a very light uh, edge highlight uh, as well following uh, all the sharp edges uh, on this little piece of armor and uh, on the symbols uh, you will uh, highlight just the most raised uh, edges Uh, for these little details on his gauntlets and his uh, visor on the helmet, uh, we will just base them uh, with the Ultuan Grey, uh, just to create the extreme contrast between the armor and uh, everything else. So it will draw like attention to the model uh, on the table among uh, everything else. Here I will use uh, Apothecary White Contrast Paint as my wash, so I will actually apply a very light wash uh, against uh, this uh, Ultuan Grey color. Uh, to paint this model eyes, uh, we will use a very simple and very effective process. So we will uh, use any white color that we have and we will paint the eye sockets uh, completely white. And uh, after that white is uh, completely dry, I will take a noon oil and I will just uh, wash uh, eye sockets uh, totally inside. Uh, I won't put too much wash, uh, so uh, after I apply I will just dry my brush and I will clear the excess and wait for the wash to properly dry. Uh, meanwhile uh, I will just apply a little highlight with the Ultuan Grey uh, on this uh, white armor panels that I did before, just uh, where the wash uh, make a little stain or make them a little too much dark, I will just highlight them a little. And then to finish up the eyes, uh, I will take uh, Abaddon Black or any black color you have and just to make a little dot in the middle of the eye. Uh, so this part is completely optional, I will do a little weathering with the pigments on the model. Uh, I will take some uh, brown iron oxide from Vallejo pigments and just uh, use some uh, old dry brush and uh, just apply it like very gently on the top of uh, his gun and I will do the same method uh, on the bottom of his legs I will use just uh, dark yellow ochre and uh, I will apply the same this slightly dry brushed uh, the pigments on the bottom of his uh, legs uh, if you are interested how I did the base uh, I will include the video in the description below And the last thing is I will just tidy up the, the base, uh, just paint the rim, uh, the black and that will be it. Uh, this model is done.
Uh, I wanna say uh, thanks one more time to my friend Alex for giving me this model. And for the rest of you people, thanks for watching and sticking it to the end. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you like uh, to see me something different or uh, have any comments or suggestions, uh, please leave a comment below and I will do my best uh, to do it. This is all for now. Uh, stay safe, take care and see you in the next video. Bye bye!